Hello everyone, this is Harsha. Welcome to my channel, Crypto English. So hi guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about another Alio Prover Pool uh, topic. So if you followed my yesterday's video and if you joined Alio Prover Pool by using Putty software, if you have closed your Putty software, your uh, uh, Prover would have gone offline. So you can see the screen, my Prover has gone offline immediately after closing the Putty software. So now in today's video, I've brought you a fix for this. In this, I'll show you how you can run your, putty, uh, run your Prover Pool with uh, even if you close the putty software so steps will be shown in this video watch this video till then before starting the video if you are here for the first time subscribe to the channel if you like the video click the like button if you have any doubts or clarification leave them in the comment section below and this video like that is 200 likes so definitely click the like button right away so let's begin the video guys so first thing it is very simple so we are going to use the linux screen option so that uh, our, even if we close the putty software your no node will be running continuously online so to follow that, I made a simple steps. These steps will be in the description below. You can follow that and copy paste one by one. So now open the putty software. Just go to this description, copy the first line of code, paste it there and click on enter. And then here it will ask you the option. So just select one and click on enter. So now go back to the notepad and just copy the second line of code. Just copy the four lines, paste it here, click on enter. So now go back to the page and third third code you have to copy and paste it here and click on enter. Then this will take some time and once that is copied you can go and proceed for the next step. So you can go and proceed for the fourth step just copy that paste it here and click on enter. So now these are the steps which we have followed yesterday. So now we are adding few new steps to create and install the screen and access the screen. So now copy the fifth line of code uh, paste it uh, in the putty software and click on enter. After that, we will install the uh, sudo apt install screen. So now we are installing the screen to this. Just enter that. So it will take some two minutes of time for the screen installation. Once that is done, you can go back and now cd alio prover. So we are going back to the alio prover page. So just paste that command here. Click enter. And now we have to create a new screen. So screen is nothing but in Windows. If you click uh, open a new tab, it's just like a screen. So now what we do is here we are creating the screen with a screen command space minus capital S. So now space followed by the name of the screen. So here I have given alio prover. You can follow the same thing or if you want to name with any other name, you can replace this alio prover with that specific name. But if you want to be simple, so just copy this line and paste it over there. So just paste it. Now you, uh, you are in the screen. <coughs> now what we have to do is we have to run the cargo run script for joining the pool. So now here you have to replace your alio address. So as shown in my yesterday's video, just copy that line of code with your alio address. Just paste it here in this valid address. You have to paste your valid address. And once you click on enter, it will start joining the pool and your miner will start running, which means the prover. So now you can see it is zero. I'll just refresh the page. Now I can see it is online. So my online prover is live. You can come to the screen. It will start showing the speed of your uh, speed and the hash rate. So now if you want to go back, so if you want to go to the previous screen, you can click on control plus A plus D in your keyboard. It'll go to the previous screen. So now I can see it came to the previous screen. But if you want to go back to the same screen and watch what is happening in the screen, just copy this command and enter. And now you can see you are back to that specific screen. So this is very simple. So now you can see I'll just close this putty software to show you even after closing it will work. So <coughs> I'm just closing this putty software. Now I'll just refresh the page. One machine is online. Now time you can see 11.22 a.m. I'll come back after 15 minutes and show you again. So after 15 minutes, 11.37 is the time now. Now I'll refresh the page and see my prover is still online. So which means even after closing putty software, my uh, prover is running in the background. So now that's the fix. Uh, uh, in case if you want to do additional activities, uh, like if you want to access it again and see the logs, you can copy the last command, which will help you to connect to the screen. Just open the putty software, paste it there and open and now you can access the logs of the prover. So once you click on A plus, uh, control plus A plus D, you will go back to the previous screen. Again, you can enter and come back to the screen. So that's all. It, now it means it is running. You can close this software and your uh, uh, prover will be still showing online. So that's all guys. That's the fix for yesterday's video. So now even after closing the putty software, your uh, prover will be running. So if this video was helpful and useful, do subscribe to the channel, leave the comments in, uh, leave your feedback in the comments below and do like the video. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind.